Hello and welcome back to the Bake Soul channel. Uh, we're a channel here in Singapore that we do craft workshops and we do craft presentations and I'm glad you're here with us today because uh, mostly we do um, tutorials or featuring our craft products but one thing we do know is that everybody who tunes into the channel is probably like us who are small businesses and selling on one platform or another. Our major platform that we sell on is Etsy. And um, we've last month we've had some nice breakthroughs. One, we had um, our Hestai brand is now fully uh, trademarked. So we got our trademark certification. So we're happy and celebrating that. But the second thing was, is in the month of November, we achieved the star seller for Etsy badge. And we wanted to share that with you for our viewers who are selling on Etsy or thinking about selling on Etsy uh, about the star seller badge. So we're gonna share with you exactly what that is, what we expect to get out of it because we're actually in the middle of it now, how we achieved it and what problems we had with it. Um, if this is something that you're interested in, just stay tuned and we'll get right into it. Okay, so quickly, selling on Etsy, we've been selling on Etsy for about uh, several years now, since 2014, slowly to start with, um, and then it's probably ramped up as of re uh, recent, uh, starting about 2018 or so, and we've been selling solidly on Etsy uh, um, since that, that time mostly. But we also sell on other platforms as Amazon and Lazada, but we do a lot of traffic and a lot of interaction on Etsy, and they just started their new uh, star seller um, badge program, and um, it's been going on for about, I think, three or four months, and we have just now got picked, or not, we didn't get picked, we've just now earned the star seller badge. So, to really get into it, uh, saying that we earned the badge, that lets you know that there are some parameters and goals that you must meet to be a star seller. So quickly, we're gonna go over them um, a one by one. And the, the four that we'll go over is, is that you need to have orders and sales, obviously, and that's one that you need to have. You need to have five star rating uh, amount. There's a threshold that you need to, to reach at a point. You need a shipping threshold that you need to re reach. And then you need a response message threshold that you need to reach. And we're gonna cover those in that order. And the reason why I picked that order, because I think that order is the difficulties of trying to reach the star seller. And after we talk about what it takes to get to be a star seller, we'll tell you what we expect to get out of uh, 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 being a star seller. And we'll probably come back and hit you with a later video that says, okay, what was our actual experience as one month of being a star seller? Sales and orders. Okay, of course, Etsy didn't say, okay, you can make one sale, do it perfect, and you can be a star seller. So of course, there is a selling threshold that you must reach because it would be ridiculous to, to let somebody sell one item and then become a star, star seller. The issue is, and this is an issue a lot when it comes to Etsy, um, what is that threshold? They describe it as a certain threshold, which is obviously ambiguous and probably meant to be ambiguous. We don't know what that threshold actually is, but we're going to assume, I'm assuming that you need to sell at least, have over at least fit between 50 and 100 orders per month to even qualify for the seller badge um, as just your number of sales that they have to go by to start evaluating. So that one's a pretty quick and easy one. Everybody knows you want to get sales and that should be the route, but we don't really know what that number is, but we're going to assume that it's probably within that range. Number two, five star sales. Okay, of course, that is the goal of everybody to have every sale be a five star sale review. 
Clearly that is not what happens on Etsy. Uh, getting reviews are really tough to do. Um, it's tough to get people to review your items. There's a lot of rules. So you can't, there's rules against you overly incentivizing people to give you five-star ratings. So five-star ratings are gold because they're hard to come by. Now, what Etsy wants is they want your ratings to reach a certain amount of five-star uh, uh, seller reviews. And then also you can't have negative reviews. And so you need to be in the 95% of your reviews to be five-star sellers. Fortunately for us, I think we are at a perfect score in that. Uh, our, our reviews are all five-star reviews. We work very hard with that. Uh, reviews are, are tough because they cover the whole gamut. It's really about the uh, buyer's experience and it covers the whole gamut from shipping, which you have no control over, and then also, of course, your product and then their customer experience. Of course, your product is something that you control. You should always be looking for five-star with that, but then being careful about your shipping because if somebody gives you a bad review on something that the shipper does, it still counts against you, which is very unfortunate, but at least you can control half of that process. Okay, number three, shipping. Shipping usually or traditionally is thought to be out of your hands, but the way it seems Etsy grades this, it's totally within your realm to, to get a great shipping score because it's about your time that you get it out to ship, which you are in totally control of. So I do not think it includes shipments that arrive late or shipments that are lost on the shipper's end. It only includes the parameters of when you get your shipping out the door and making sure that you get your shipping shipped on time. And then it follows your processing times that you set up in the beginning. So this is something that you should have the full total control of. We hit a perfect score on this because we have our processing times uh, built right in and we're able to ship quickly and on time. So that's something that should be something you should be able to do uh, very much easily to get your, a high shipping score to get your um, star seller badge. Okay, number four and finally, uh, this I put this last because I think this is the, the tough and strange one and it's a little bit ambiguous again as well. This is the message response time. Now the message response time um, is how fast do you answer your customer's messages to you? Seems uh, pretty straightforward and simple at the beginning, but this was the hardest one for us to crack because um, we were getting a lot of back and forth messages and I, it seemed like our numbers that Etsy was giving us was very low. It's because a lot of times, some of our customers, they, they send you a message almost as if they're sending you a text or if you ever have that person that kind of texts with you of like, hello, and then another message, how are you? Are you okay? You know, and it's like three or four messages. I think you're getting dinged for those messages in between that you didn't respond to if somebody uh, sends you, you messages like that. A second point with, uh, with message response is um, when somebody, you, you message somebody and it's the end of the conversation and then they, they hit you back with a thank you or that's great or something that really doesn't require another response. Um, actually, uh, my partner Cheryl has came up with the, the wonderful idea to send just an emoji back but something to cut off the conversation because it seems as if the, the buyer has the last message, even if it's just a message of thanks or great or, or whatever, you still need to respond to that message to keep your, your response numbers up. So those two little things uh, were was the things that were holding us back um, from becoming a star seller. Uh, we think we, we solved the, the, the last message problem with the emoji ideal. I don't know what you can do for the, the customer who sends you a one word messages, you know, as they come down where everything could be typed in one sentence, but it ends up being five messages in a row. That becomes uh, problematic um, that you'll just try to have to fight and, and, and overcome that. 
but that is the last parameter um, that you have for becoming a star seller. Now, after you get all the four parameters, your sales, your five-star ratings, your shipping, and then your response times, when you become a five-star seller, it just means that you're gonna get a badge, or not a five-star seller, I'm sorry, a star seller. It just means that you're going to get a badge that appears over your account when somebody searches for it. I think if you're selling items that people already want and they know, kind of like our coasters that we sell a lot of, people know our coasters because they're the best on the market and they're super quality and they're looking for that, this, this um, star seller badge doesn't help that much. But when you're in a high competition uh, group or niche where your item is coming up along with five or six or seven or sometimes 20 or 30 other items, uh, one of the things that customers can look to differentiate is that star seller badge. So I think it could help in, in those points because usually customers look by price and then they look at, they would look for that star seller badge from there. Now, the, Etsy has stated that it does not put you higher in the rank. It does not make you appear more often or anything of that sense. So it seems to me that that five-star ranking is just going to give you a leg up on um, areas where you have high competition and that you're sitting in a crowd of group. So that's basically um, what the five-star seller is. We'll probably come back at um, the end of next month after we've had a whole month of being a five, um, sorry, being a star seller. It's not five star seller. Uh, being a star seller, we'll probably come back and let you know what the experience was. It's uh, It's been good so far um, and we'll see what happened. And we'd love for you to like this video, subscribe, tell your friends about it. And was glad to hit you with this quick thing about the uh, star seller badge in Etsy. Thanks for watching.